Okay, I am finally going to cover my thoughts and the colors I ended up picking up of the new Gucci blushes. Gucci is definitely one of my favorite luxury brands because their packaging is absolutely divine. And generally speaking, I'm pretty obsessed with their products. I think they do a phenomenal job. So when I found out that they were launching blushes, I was like freaking out. And it was a chase span to get these. But I ended up picking up four of the six shades. So I'm going to demo those for you today. Swatch them. I've become familiar familiar with the formula because I've been wearing one of the shades for well over a week now. This video is a little bit later than I wanted just because there's been so many other launches. But I spent $200 on these blushes, so by golly, I'm gonna do a video on these. And yeah, let's get started. Let's talk about these Gucci blushes. You can pick them up on Saks, uh, Sephora, the Gucci website. My suggestion is to pick these up on the Gucci website because you get the luxury packaging that they do. And they actually come with a dust bag. Every blush, you can keep it in the dust bag. I ordered one of the shades from Gucci and the packaging of it all, the luxury experience was so divine. I ordered three other shades from Saks and it just came with the box and the blush. So my suggestion, get them from the Gucci website because you're paying so much money for the blush anyways, at least get the satisfaction of that luxury opening experience and a free dust bag for your blush. But of course, you can keep these in your purse and just put little small things in here, you know? So yeah, if I could go back, I would have ordered all of them from Gucci. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. So these are $49 each. The name of them is called Luminous Matte Beauty Blush. So Luminous Matte, they're supposed to be long wearing and a key thing for these blushes is that they are infused with emollient waxes, which are supposed to hydrate the skin. So there's shea butter, hyaluronic acid, and black rose oil in this product, which the marketing says it's supposed to, you know, hydrate the skin, provide long-lasting nourishment all that stuff that sounds good in a blush right and for $49 I would hope so so all of the blushes are going to come in a pink box like this it's a very soft pink like the Gucci aesthetic and you'll have the name of the shade right here they have a 24 month shelf life and are made in Italy this is the back of the box. If you order from the Gucci website, the box with the blush inside will be shoved in the dust bag. So just prepare for that. And then of course we have the packaging. So it has stars, it's that pinkish color that Gucci has in their line. And then this is the back of the blush if you wanna see. I just think it's so cute. Gucci is a vanity brand, if you ask me. These are items that you wanna keep out on your vanity. And then to open it, it's a little confusing for me every time. It's not difficult to open, but it's kind of a snap closure. So sometimes I end up pushing and pulling on the wrong knob and I struggle to open it. But you have a mirror and then of course you have the blush itself. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch each one for you and apply it to my cheek. I think this video is going to be short today. So this is one of the new colors. These have a very faint scent. I would say, you know how the bronzer has a much more intense scent? Well, in my opinion, it has an intense scent. This one is much more faint, but it does have the same fragrance that the Gucci bronzer has. If you don't like fragrance, it's in here, but it's not strong. I like it. I think it's a fresh scent, like a fresh floral. So this shade right here is 01 Silk Rose. I'm gonna swatch this for you, swirl my finger around. It's really pretty soft pink. You can see it is a generally matte blush, but there is a slight sheen to it. And here's the swatch. This one's gonna be right up my alley. Do you guys see that sheen? So zero one Silky Rose, let's go ahead and apply this. I'm gonna keep the lights down so you can really see how this looks and applies to the cheek. I'm gonna go ahead and take the BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy A507 brush. Tap off the excess, there's a little bit of kickback here. Are you ready? You see, it actually carries a good amount of pigmentation. It looked as though it would be sheer when I swatched it but it has a very beautiful formulation. This is like a healthy looking matte blush. It's not gonna dry you out. It looks gorgeous. It's blending beautiful. I mean, I'm telling you now, I really enjoy the formula from the shade that I've been wearing. I think it's everything that I look for in a blush. It's not overly pigmented, but it is buildable. It doesn't leave a dry look to the cheek, even though it is powder. So I do believe the ingredients really do help 
create that hydrated look that's going to be very flattering on more mature skin. You know, I know some of you with mature skin prefer to use a cream blush because it's more flattering, it's less dry, but this is a good powder formula for mature skin. And you can see it works. It just looks really healthy. I'm going to apply it just a little bit more. Such a beautiful, blendable formula. So this is Silky Rose. I think this one is gorgeous. Now shade 02 is Tender Apricot. I did not pick up this shade. It's actually sold out at Sephora from what I'm seeing right now. It's one of the shades that I just didn't feel like spending an additional $50 for, but it does look gorgeous. It's like a light peachy apricot kind of shade. I'm not opposed to picking it up in the future. <laughs> next Sephora sale, maybe. The next shade that I have is number three. This is Radiant Pink. And this one has a little bit more color to it. It has, as you can see, some micro fine glimmers in there that's going to cause this shade to have a sheen. Let's get in there. Okay. And let's see how this compares to Silky Rose. It's actually quite similar. It has a little bit more of a bright element to it. But I do think if you have Silky Rose or Radiant Pink, you don't need one or the other. It's not a $50 difference, you know, but let's put it on our cheeks to really see what that, that is about. Okay, so Radiant Pink. Let's see if these two are different. So this one has a little bit more pigmentation. So I would say if you're like a medium, deeper complexion and you want this shade, I'd pick this one up over the Silky Rose because it has a little bit more fieriness to it. But they are pretty close, right? Wouldn't you say generally pretty close? I feel like if I built up Silky Rose a little bit more, they would look similar to one another. So you definitely only need one or the other, but they both are really pretty. I would just say Silky Rose is gonna be more for the lighter skin tones and then Radiant Pink will do you better on a deeper complexion. Those are these two. I'm gonna go into the next two shades, but I'm gonna put a little bit of foundation over so that we can freshen up the cheeks before we apply them. All right, let's work up to number four. This is Bright Coral. So this is the one that I've been wearing. This is the one I got first. I think it is such a beautiful blush. So I'm gonna swatch it here. Actually, let me turn the lights down. Here's what it looks like. It has more neutralness to it compared to the other two shades. Right? It actually has more orange to it. I didn't even realize that comparing it to these two. I thought it looked quite pink on its own, but compared to the actual pink shades, it definitely has more warmth. So let's go ahead and apply this one to the cheek. I think the shade's definitely gonna look better with my eye look. And I've been wiping this brush, by the way, in between each use. So yeah, those shades definitely made this one look warm, but I swear it's kind of a versatile shade where if you pair it with a pink eye look, it's gonna look pink. If you pair it with a warm look, it's going to look more warm. So it's quite a versatile shade. I think this one is my favorite so far of the three that I've tried on. I love a good bright pink blush though, but in terms of everyday, I'm definitely gonna reach for this. Do you see how healthy it looks on my cheek? It looks so smooth on the cheek. I mean, these are a great, great formula. I'm gonna wipe off my brush and let's go into the last shade that I picked up. So this is 05 Rosy Beige. This is the one that I wanted the most. I am so excited about this. This looks like a gorgeous neutral rose color. I haven't applied this yet, but you can see it almost has like a copperiness to it. Seems a little bit more sheeny than the others as well, right? Ooh, this one is gonna be interesting to try. Okay, I'm just gonna try it. Oh, yes! It, it could kind of maybe make me look a little punch in the face kind of situation. That's gorgeous. This with a cool toned look. Now be careful though, because I feel like on certain skin tones it can pull a little gray. I feel like it's pulling a little gray on me. <laughs> if you have a very warm complexion, this is gonna look gray on you. If you have a very cool complexion, I think this is gonna be very flattering. I lean more neutral, but this is starting, I feel like, to potentially look a little punched in, a little gray 
but I really like it with the right makeup look. I think I could make this one look good. So in terms of everyday, my favorite color for me is going to be the bright coral, the one that I have on this cheek. This is just the perfect everyday color for me. It's really versatile, though I'm really liking rosy beige, but it's probably not the most flattering for my skin tone as I was hoping it would be, but on the right skin tone, I think it's going to be so gorgeous. And then between Silky Rose and Radiant Pink, the first two shades, you only need one of them. Wow, okay. So here's the final look, again, in case you needed that last comparison. Number one, Silky Rose. Number three, Radiant Pink. Number four, Bright Coral. And then number five, Rosy Beige. Oh, the names are different between Sephora and on the back of the packaging, by the way. I just went off by the back of the packaging, but the numbers are the same. So number six is Warm Berry. I almost picked that one up, but I decided I just, I didn't need to spend $50 on something that probably would not work for my skin tone, but it looks beautiful from more medium to deep complexion. So I'm gonna try and even out the color on my cheek because I'm going to film a different video after this and I'll be back to give you my final testaments. Did my best to like mix the blushes <laughs> together. But overall, my thoughts over the very anticipated Gucci blushes, I really enjoy them. I love them. I'm very happy that I picked them up. I don't love them to the point where I feel like I need to own every single color in the collection. I feel like they could expand the blush collection. I'd love to see like a more true orange shade, play more into the deeper tones, richer toned blushes. I think there's room for expansion, but of course this is just the first launch. If I had to compare the formula, I would say it's similar to the feeling of a Natasha Denona blush, that kind of creamy hydrating feeling. That's the closest match that I can really think of in terms of how the formula feels. If you don't want to spend $50 on a blush, don't do it. You don't need to. There's so many good blushes on the market. Even the drugstore has some really great options. So I will say it's not a must if you don't want to spend $50. Not a must have in the beauty market. It's a really nice luxury blush. I think in terms of Gucci, it's, it's a Good price is not the word that I want to use, but I paid $50 for a Gucci blush because very clearly I was paying for the name, the experience, the packaging, all of that, and I'm very satisfied with what I got, with the quality of the product. So if you are interested in owning a Gucci blush, these are really, really, really nice, and I can see myself using these constantly. I think that these are going to be incorporated into my everyday routine because I enjoy them so much from the packaging to the fragrance to the way they blend on the cheek and the look as well. So these are going to be some new luxury favorites for me, but as always, I most of the time luxury makeup, you're paying for the name, of course, but if you like paying for the name like me, <laughs> I do like these. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a short, quick, easy one, but like I said, I bought these because I wanted to do a video on them. They got lost in the sauce with all of the launches, but I did spend $200 on them. <laughs> so we're getting a video up and I really am enjoying these. So if you picked any of these up, can you let me know your thoughts? Am I crazy? Like, do you agree with me? You know, they're not a groundbreaking blush formula, but they're definitely up there in as far as being a really good formula. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and I will catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye guys, have a good one.